Easy. Today I'm afraid I come dressed as the Prophet of Doom because in a few weeks time our hero Tommy Robinson will be sent to prison and I'm going to explain why. It all comes down to that fine line between justice and revenge. Now the justice system in our country doesn't always work correctly but it's there to ensure that we remain a civilised society. Quite often when families of victims of crime scream that they want justice what they actually mean is that they want revenge and this is why we have courts, juries, judges in order to ensure that it's impartial that it's justice that prevails. What we're seeing against Tommy is a clear case of revenge by the British state because they want and they are now desperate, absolutely desperate to silence him. He's exposed their lies, he's exposed their corruption, their fake news and their bias. They've tried to take him down in rather unceremonious ways by removing his funding. They've taken down his social media accounts, they've been colluding with social media. Um, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, various, Instagram, various others. All these platforms are now saying that he broke their rules, that he broke their community standards. <laughs> Does anybody actually believe that he broke their standards? Mr Zuckerberg even says that not only did he break their standards, that he called for the followers of the Quran to be beheaded. <laughs> you absolute lying coward. If he'd have said that, it would have been all over every mainstream media, media channel in the world. No, this is collusion. And the reason why they're doing this is because they know that he's going to use those means to talk to you. Because he's going to tell you all when he goes to court, he's going to tell you all when he goes to prison, well the supporters will tell you all and they want to remove that because what they want to do is they want to send him to prison quietly. This is just like I've gone through a time warp and I've woken up in Russia in 1975 and people are being packed off to prison if they say the wrong thing under cloak and dagger secrecy. This is what this is like. No, I'm afraid not, guys. What we're seeing here is, a, is a, a case of revenge. The uh, judge in the original case has already stated that he didn't commit contempt of court and he didn't break reporting restrictions. But now, the new charges if you're not familiar with those already, I'll tell you and I'll try and do this without laughing. When he was stood outside Leeds Crown Court that day, that uh, the Muslims, the child rape, well I'd call them child rapists, when they were travelling to court, that his presence there put them in possible situation where they could feel anxiety which of course reporters are there all the time, they're there to, then they say how do you feel about your sentence sir? You see that all the time. But no, that this could have put them to anxiety. Now what I want to know is that how are they going to prove it? Because they have to prove this beyond reasonable doubt that he did this. They also claim that he could have summoned his supporters to be in there on that day to attack them well yeah he could I could burgle somebody's house on my way home from work tonight does it mean I'm gonna do? of course not I've no intentions of doing that and neither had he that day so what we're seeing now is this blurring of the lines between justice and revenge.
Sorry about that. Something that the courts quite often say is that they do everything they can not to break up families. And they always take that into account when it comes down to sentencing. They're quite extreme with that sometimes. I can remember a case a couple of years ago where a woman who was on some sort of harassment charge, she broke her bail conditions 26 times and she still did not go to prison. The reason for that, she had children. But at the same time, in 2012, foster parents had their foster children removed from them because they were members of UKIP. This is the kind of double standards that we have to deal with in this country. Now, of course, Tommy, we all know that he's got three kids, that they have an age where they're classed as dependents. And they are removing their father from them. For what? Let's just say, for example, that if he was guilty of these charges, that he did, in fact, put these child rapists in a position of anxiety. What would the normal sentence for something like that be? What, would we be talking a fine? Probably community service, maybe. But no. The guidelines will probably state that they can go to prison for it, but, you know, the judges use discretion. They use common sense. Quite often, well, there, there is some cases where common sense seems to go out of the window, but it's usually where they're erring on the side of leniency. But no, they're going to send him to prison. The state uh, where the prosecution is, is by the Attorney General, Geoffrey Cox. Now, Geoffrey Cox is a conservative Brexiteer. And I don't believe for a second that this is he's doing this, that he is doing this. This is higher up than him. This goes all the way to the top, to the Prime Minister herself. They are bringing this case against him that is costing the taxpayer money. It's costing them time. And they're not doing this just to see him walk free. This is done with the sole intentions of sending him to prison. This is not justice. This is revenge. The judge will probably have been instructed that they must send him to jail. This is where we are in 2019. That they can pack you off to prison if you speak against them. But Tommy won't be silenced. They will have to... He will, he will be on his deathbed and he will still not be silenced. But they have to send a message. They need to remove him. And that's where we are in 2019. This is British justice in 2019. How low have we sunk as a country? What are we going to do about this? We can't sit back and allow this to go on. We must show that we will not accept this treatment of a man, of a father whose children, they need him. What about the discretion that they showed to that woman who broke her bail conditions? I'm not even asking for that amount of leniency, just common sense to prevail. What we have to do, we know what we have to do. We don't want to talk about it. We don't even want to think it. But we know what we have to do. This is what we have to do. So we need to rise up. We need to rise up. 
and we need to show them that they are making a big, big mistake. Until next time, easy.